Valerie, what do you mean you'd rather be playing League of Legends than doing controls work? Oh, uh, well, next we'll be talking about modeling electronic components, specifically a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor. And to do this, we'll need to look at the governing equations. So first, let's think about this, the time domain, what you're probably all familiar with. How do we write the equations for these components? And of course, to analyze, to analyze them, we need current, one, so current, I of T. And we're going to have the current, well, it's going to pick a direction for current. And we'll have them all the same way for these. And then we want to pick a voltage as well. So we do voltage this way generally. And here we'll do just V of T. A voltage this way, V of T. And a voltage the same way, V of T. Of course, when you're doing this, you can choose the direction, but you just have to stick with the whichever way you label it. You just have to stick with that direction for voltage. Okay, so let's write down the equations for this. The resistor is pretty easy. Remember Ohm's law? V of T equals I of T times resistance. Easy. All right, let's write these all for each of them. For the inductor. I just memorized D equals L di dt, so V of T equals L di dt, and there's our governing equation for an inductor, great. For the capacitor, I always memorize pretty much the opposite of this, I equals C di dt, oh. I equals C dv dt, oh man, I of T equals C dv dt. And then uh, most of the time we're actually going to need voltage by itself, so we're actually going to flip this around to solve for V of T here. So if we divide by C on both sides and then take the integral, we'll en end up with V of T on this side because we took the integral of this. And then 1 over C, the integral of I T dt. Okay? So these are our base expressions for each of these components. Now we want to take the Laplace transform of them because we're going to be moving into the frequency domain. So let's do that for each. So if we do the Laplace transform for all of these, this one's relatively straightforward. You get V of S equals I of S times R. And here our variables are the things that are with time. So I and V, whereas R is a constant. So R just remains the same. And these change from the time domain to the frequency domain. We're going to do the same thing with this one. Take our Laplace. Here again, we get just V of S. L again is our constant. And this time we're looking at the derivative. So we have to look back at our table. And we'll see that if we take, go to the Laplace transfer table, we get S times I of S. And technically, we need to do minus of F of 0. Oh, sorry, not, not F. This, that's a generic expression. It would be I from the 0 of 0 from the negative side. But pretty much, this is. In all of the equations we're going to work with, this will almost always be zero. We just assume it's zero um, because it's starting from nothing and then uh, initializing the system. So this, from the zero, from the negative side to zero, will always be zero. So most of the time, we can just ignore this part and write it like this. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. We'll plus of the capacitor, and our constant will be the same. Here we're now going to look up the table for the integral, and it's going to be 1 over s i of s. And then on this side, we again have v of s. Okay, so if we write that all out, well here we'll just box this answer. v of s i of s r, v of s is ls i of s, 
And here we'll just rewrite it. 1 over C S I of S. Okay, so here are our three basic equations in the Fregatso domain for our components. And we're going to use these in future circuits, uh, but I just want to show you how we derive these first.